So my name is Brittany Kirkpatrick and I'm going to be talking about semen extenders and fertility in horses. To start off a little bit about the history, artificial insemination started in the livestock industry in 1899, started a little later in horses, but you know, it relatively around that time. Um, they started using artificial insemination to allow them for multiple breedings from one stallion, especially stallions that have high quality genetics so that they can get high quality foals out of many different mares. Um, to use artificial insemination, they have to use a phantom and they use an artificial vagina to actually collect the semen. So to collect the, um, after the semen is collected, the horse they use both frozen and cooled semen in the horse industry. Um, because of this, because they use both cooled and frozen, there's a difference between quality. Um, cooled is a little harder to maintain than frozen. I'm going to be talking today more about the cooled semen side of it, not so much frozen. Um, like I said, there is both a quality and there is a quality difference in both. Um, for the extender, they use both skim milk or an egg yolk based that also includes antibiotics. So storing the semen can be tricky like I just talked about. Length of and temperature play a major role and that's what I'm really going to get into today. Um, and if not stored right, fertility rates can significantly drop and that is wasting money for the producer and um, for the uh, semen or the stallion owner and it also increases the open period for horses in that the mare is being bred. So the first study I'll be looking at is Demick and his study was done in 1976, a little old, but that's okay. And he looked at the differences between the cooling, storage, glycerolization, and spermatozoa numbers, all and how they affect the fertility of the sperm. In the study, they looked at three stallions and 72 non-lactating mares. And the ages of the mares ranged from three to five to eighteen years of age. The mares were randomly assigned to a stallion and to one of the four treatments that I will tell you about here in a minute. And in the study, they used a skim milk based extender. So the first treatment was fresh semen that was maintained at 38 degrees Celsius, so about room temperature and then used within the first hour of collection. The second was semen that was cooled to five degrees Celsius for two hours and then warmed back up and then inseminated. The third treatment was a little different. They cooled it down like the second treatment and stored it for two hours, but before they inseminated, they added glycerol, which is just, um, a different um, uh, energy product for the semen. And then the fourth treatment was cooled to 5 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. So about to 5 degrees Celsius is about to refrigeration temperature. So it wasn't frozen but it cooled. So in the study he looked, he also looked at the difference in sperm concentrations. So we had 10, 10, uh, 100 times 10 to the 6th power and 500 to 10 to the 6th power. And as you see as a result that the best um, was the fresh who got 89% bred on the 10 to the 10 to the or 100 to the 10 to the 6 and 100% of the mares on 500 by 10 to the 6 and if you compare that to the cooled for 24 hours the rates dropped significantly almost in pretty almost in half in both of them so there was a huge change based on just cooling not frozen so the next study I looked at was love 
and he looked at the different temperature settings and length of storage based on DNA denat denaturation, so it would be literally um, killing the sperm. Um, he used a standard milk-based extender also. Um, in this study, the samples were taken from 18 stallions, and they didn't inseminate, but they um, split the 18 stallions into fertile and subfertile groups. So, in, the, in his treatments, the semen was stored at 5 degrees, 20 degrees, and 37 degrees Celsius. And these three times were split, it, or three temperature settings were split into five different temperature settings, Z, or time, time length, sorry, 0, 7, 20, 31, and 46 hours. So at every time interval, they took out a sample from the DNA, from the semen sample, and froze it at negative 22 degrees Celsius before it could be processed, or so before it was processed, to make sure that they it held constant because freezing semen does prevent any denaturation, so it would keep the sample at what it was taken out at that time. So. For his results, the DNA denaturation did not occur at 5 degrees Celsius for up to 46 hours. So he did not see a significant drop in the um, sperm quality for up to 46 hours, like in the DMIX um, project. Um, there was moderate denaturation at 20 degrees Celsius and significant DNA denaturation at 37 degrees Celsius. Now, based on his results, I still wouldn't recommend storing your semen at 30 or 5 degrees Celsius for 46 hours. Um, if you would have to store it at that long, for that long, I would recommend freezing using liquid nitrogen would be your best results. So, in conclusion, both studies showed significant results on how the semen should be stored based on the temperature and length. Um, in my experience, the use of fresh semen within the first several hours of collection would be the best for fertility rates, but it's based on your needs and wants. Um, if you need to store for any length of time, frozen would be the best way to go. Um, if semen is not needed right away, um, the best is not, like I said, to freeze it, but, you know, if you need to keep it overnight to so store it at 5 degrees. Um, so, um, I do believe that there is a, um, that bre there isn't a major problem in the horse industry right now because most breeding facilities do have their own stallions, but based on, you know, getting semen into the horse barn at Iowa State, there have, you know, there could be problems based on you know handling both from the facility that you're getting the semen from and the facility receiving it. There could be problems with the um, you know packaging or the shipping. You know, my recommendation would be to freeze it if you are going to ship it. But you know if that is not a solution, if that is not a option then going down to the lowest temperature at five degrees celsius would be your best solution so thank you for listening and there are my references